I've never been known for doing things the smart way. Howdy folks, and welcome back to Ark Adventures on Lost Island. I'm just outside my base, which is right over there. And I've got a new dody. Yeah, I saw this dody up on the volcanoes. I was uh, harvesting uh, some element shards. And it was a 140 and is now uh, doing pretty well. In fact, I'm bumping up the weight right now. And I've got some friends coming over, it appears, who want to say hello. And we'll see what kind of damage we do. Yeah, that's enough to kill compies. So this is going to be a her. She's going to be a pretty fun uh, addition to the crew. Uh, Sherry, I'm calling her. Uh, to get some stone around here, which is nice. I like rolling all in the... Uh, I love the change they made. At, at some point, I don't know how long you guys have been playing Ark, but uh, at some point, Dodies, when they started rolling, you couldn't steer them. Now you can, which is just really fun. Uh, you've been able to steer them for quite a while, but I mean, when they first were introduced, you couldn't. <laughs> but it's really nice to collect stone. So my goal uh, now, this episode, I think, is to get into tech taming. Because I want to start taming more animals, and, and it's so much easier when I can use the tech bow because it's so powerful. Uh, so let's head on over back to our base, assuming my stamina holds out. And uh, unload the stone, but I'm going to start working on... I, I went ahead and crafted a tech bow. I've collected enough element that I could do that. Uh, let's see here. Oh, oh, oh. All right, Liam. Okay. Um, and we'll throw Bay off right there. There we go, Bay. I got a tech bow, and I threw it in the upgrade station because I wanted to upgrade it. And I do want to upgrade it. And when I try to upgrade it, it's going to say I need more polymer, middle ingots, cementing paste, element, crystal... So that's going to be the new goal, is getting enough inf enough resources to do that so that I could start doing some tech uh, um, uh, taming, basically. Using the tech bow is just so awesome for taming, um, especially if you get a high-level one. I put a tech generator here uh, with enough. We have it set so that about one piece of element lasts about one real-world day. Uh, so basically, I'm set for the next couple of months uh, for uh, power here, and that power spreads all over the place. I show the range. Um, you can see, I can, I can put things that require any kind of power all over the freaking place. And I do plan on expanding the space, especially when I get more tame. So, uh, that's good. That's why I put it out here instead of in the base. Moved it a little bit closer to the center of maybe where my entire compound will be. So, anyway, I need to collect all those resources. Let's see, what resources do I need again to upgrade this? If we pull in all, of, well, I've got a bunch of polymer, but all of our metal. We've got a ton of metal. So if we pull in our metal, and we pull in the scrap metal ingots, aren't that many. Pull those metal ingots. Oops, metal ingots. Okay, wait a half a second. There we go. Um, there's enough. I don't think we need to worry about metal at the moment. Uh, attempting to upgrade. Again, we need cementing paste. I don't think we have enough for all of this. Uh, so I'm going to have to make some more beaver runs for sure. Um, I, I think I can get one upgrade out of here if I really try, but a uh, hundred element. Look at that. Oh, crystal, not a problem. Let's just throw all the crystal we've got in here. I'm going to have to go continue to hunt and harvest uh, uh, all of the, yeah, I don't think we're having a problem with crystal, all of the element I can to do this. Um, but I definitely need, I have some polymer and I need more cementing paste. Uh, but I don't have a hundred element now, I don't think. Maybe I do. Let's throw that. How much element do I have that isn't in the generator? And you use element shards to... Uh, yeah. I could do one upgrade on this thing. Um, use element shards to power the tech bow. I can do one upgrade. Boom. 176. I don't think I'm going to get another one. Nope. <laughs> so I'm, I'm starting the, the trek, but uh, I definitely need to go collect more stuff. So... I'm going to do a lot of off-screen harvesting, and uh, and I'll get back as soon as I can upgrade that tech bow, and we can get a really nice one going. Well, I've been waiting for the middle to cook up. I went ahead and... Uh, oh, yeah, i got to pick this stuff up. It's wild... Uh, uh, Akatina? Yeah, that's how you pronounce it, right? Katina? Been wandering around. Might as well pick up the free cementing paste. I expanded out my base. So you can see I moved the wall way out here. 
Uh, I checked the ranges of the generator and the ranges of the trough, and all of this is just inside the ranges. And I set up these little lights, get these small S plus pillars, and I put a S plus lamp on top. Um, it was pretty well lit at night, and George has a lot more room to wander now. <laughs> Um, but I, that's pretty cool. I think there'll be room there for all my stuff. One thing I wanted to do while we were waiting, though, is even though I need more element, I want to waste a little bit of the element right now, I think, by creating an item collector, this thing, uh, collects and distributes. Um, the, the man, the item collector, is not as good as this one. I'd really like this one, and I think maybe I have enough material to make it. I do. I think it'll be very useful because it'll pick up, for instance, that Akatina paste that he's dropping uh, for me, and as well as a bunch of other stuff. So, including uh, when I get the eggs going, uh, it can also pick up eggs. Although the S plus egg uh, thingy um, that I talked about before also picks them up, I believe. Egg. This thing. Uh, warming and water, ten. No, it doesn't say anything about picking them up. So I think, yeah, I think I still need this other one for for picking them up. Um, I need to go ahead and make all the setting changes though. Collection options. I want to collect large poop and massive poop. Uh, eggs, all kinds. The paste, the pearls, anything that's dropped by any animals that I might have. Uh, I don't think it'll pick up my shards, but you know what? I'm going to uncheck that one just in case. Um, this is good. I think. Let's don't do ingots. Let's don't do charcoal. Let's, do the, uh, let's don't do fertilizer. Uh, organic polymer, paste. Didn't I already have paste? Oh. From the ground, from things that produce. Huh. I don't know what the difference is. Both and from vivariums, which I don't have any yet, but I do eventually want them. So we'll do that for distribution options. Eventually, we're going to want to send the poop to dung beetles because I'll be using them. Um, I'm not going to use compost bins. Fertilizer to crop plots, yes. I can do beer at the moment. Middle to forges, no. I will eventually use crackers. I'll eventually use dedicated storage. Eventually, I'll get there someday. And for now, I'm just going to go with that. So I'm going to deactivate and then reactivate because I'm not sure. Yeah, look at that. Two of those tech parasaur eggs and two more of the Akatina face. That's awesome. I'm just going to throw that in there. Um, this thing does refrigerate too. You can tell the eggs because it's tech. I mean, 798 weeks, two days, 46 hours. That doesn't make any sense. 10 minutes, but whatever. It's even more than that, I think. Right? Let's do this math. I think that's actually 45 days, 50... No, that doesn't make sense either. It's not seconds at the end because it's not counting down. So it's a long time. Put it that way. Okay, I think I have everything I need to go from a Mastercraft finally up to Ascendant. There it is, 496. Now I can make that even max damage, which is going to be superb. Uh, for uh, uh, taming. So, actually, let me demonstrate real quick in case you haven't seen it what this is. I'll bring in 2,000 shards. The shards are the power of this thing. Bring it up, and you have different modes. And you hit the reload button to go to from normal arrows to explosive arrows to trank arrows to flame arrows. And each one has a different cost in shards. So you can see the regular arrows has 400. I have 2,000 shards, or, well, 2,000. One of them's in there already. And I have 400 arrows worth, right? F explosive, I can only do 25 out of 2,000 shards. Uh, I can do 100 uh, trank and 200 of the flame. And the tranks do pretty good damage. Um, I'm sorry, Liam. But you see that one's only doing 812-ish. Uh, per shot, now I can make this better. Like I said, I can take, get an augmentation station, which is an attachment to this thing, this thing right here. And attach that, and I can create augmentations. And if I look in here, I'm going <laughs> to put this away because it's kind of distracting me. Um, we have augmentations for doing things like uh, uh, negating things. So I don't want to do that. 
adding durability, um, damage, armor, uh, durability for armor. This one over here is durability for uh, weapons, which is what I want. Eventually. <laughs> uh, right now I really want the damage. Um, and then you get things like uh, cold resistance and armor and heat resistance and water. What does this one do? Water retention. Good for extremely hot environments. Use this region in the augment state. Oh, I guess that's for armor? I don't know. I've never actually used that one. What I really want right now is damage. Increases weapon damage. It makes charcoal, which I've been making a ton of, fiber, hide, and metal. Um, I've been making a lot of charcoal by cooking all the, all the metal. Yeah, I got a lot of charcoal. Uh, fiber, which is also already in the station. Let me get out of here. Close. Done. Get out of here. Duh. Uh, fiber. Tons of it. Uh, metal. I've got some. I've got other some. I have some more cooking. Not a lot, but we have some more. Let me go ahead and just put out the fire because there's no point anymore. There's no more metal. Um, so we have that. We have metal. As you can see there. Um... I don't want to put this back in the refrigerator before it spoils. And what was the last thing I needed? Fiber? Metal? Hide, right? Uh, damage, damage, damage. Hide. Of course, the bane of my existence, hide. I don't have a lot of it. Well, I have enough. I can make seven. I don't think that's going to be enough to get up to max damage on this uh, tech bow, but we'll try. And the way this works is you just put it in here and you augment it. And whatever augmentations are available that apply to it will be applied. So I've just increased the damage. As you saw, it was originally 400-something. Now it's 511. Now it's 523. 537. 549. 571. 585. And that was the last one, but I can make more. So I need to go get more hide. I hate having to go get hide constantly, <laughs> but I'll try. All right, I took a chainsaw to some more Ovis uh, and got some more hide. Don't know how many more of these will be needed to get to max damage. It might be 700%. It seems to be a number that rings a bell to me. That's as high as it goes, but I could be wrong. 73, 700. I doubt I can do one more, but we'll, we'll craft one anyway. Yep, up here. Augmentation failed. Damage reagent. Can't increase damage any higher. Okay. That is the max damage for our bow. Um, again, Liam, I'm sorry. Super sorry. Oh, it's over a K. Look at that. 1.23. One twelve hundred, one point two k, torpor per shot, man, per shot, amazing. Um, <clears throat> it's about as good as you can do. Now the next thing I'll do later on is I'll add durability to this because you can see the durability is only five hundred four, so eventually it's going to wear down. I need more of these shards. Um, do I have any? I do. Uh, let's just grind or grind convert. Five element to shards. We have some shards there. Uh, shard. There we go. Turn this thing on. Craft all five. There we go. Yeah, it's a good amount. And now we get to go looking for good things to tame. What are we to tame? Well, hang, hang on a minute. What are we going to tame? <laughs> now, I, now I'm a little unclear. Um, hmm. Let me think about it. Yeah. March of the Mad Dodos. I'm bringing them over here. Tamed a bunch of females and a couple males because I need some dodo eggs. I just need eggs for creating a, an egg hatchery. I'll just leave you guys right here. And I need to eventually tell you guys not to follow my whistles. I need an egg hatchery so that I can hatch all of those tech parasaur eggs. Because if I just set them down here in front of the air conditioner, they get picked up by the item collector. So uh, it's all crazy. Here's my convoluted story, right? I wanted to make the egg thing so I could start getting the tech. But in order to do that, I needed 50 more electronics. And I thought to myself, well, I have a bunch of fertilized eggs already that I haven't hatched. So I threw them down here and then they got picked up. And then I thought, oh, well, if I use the egg hatchery uh, to, sorry, activate that, throw these on here. 
and it will bring them all the way to the point where they're nearly ready to hatch, and then I'll just pop them out and hatch them so that I can then kill them <laughs> when they get older and then get the electronics necessary to make the egg thing, and then this will become completely redundant and useless. And, hey, you know, um, I've never been known for doing things the smart way. Okay, I need some electronics. We're going to switch that to dyno, and we're going to switch to the... Um, this. Um, look away, kids. Wow. Um, wow. Okay. Look at all the electronics. Sweet. Not bad. I set the while well, I was waiting. I set those guys up in a breeding kind of pin area sort of configuration, um, and I'll turn that on as soon as I get my egg guy going. Do I have my egg guy? Can I get my egg guy? Let's find out. Egg. Yes, I don't need these eggs. What am I doing with those things? I got this thing going though, and I don't know how to work it. I've never used this one before, but we'll figure it out. And I do know what I want to tame now. And I'll surprise you in a minute. Uh, don't put, I don't want to put that there. I'll put it over here, right? Because this is where it's used. I don't know what the range is or anything like that. Do I have to, Will it automatically pick them up? I don't know anything about this. Um, station monitoring. Not auto-hatching eggs. I don't want to... Uh, do I want to auto-hatch them? No. Uh... No, 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 25. I don't know what the temperature needs to be. Anyway, whatever. Um, have some peace of mind while you incubate your eggs. Eggs that normally must be hatched underwater require the incubator to be underwater. Uh, hatch egg requires 100%. Oh, I can click on it and hatch it. Or I can break it and destroy it. There's only, ooh, this is an S plus item. There's probably a configuration for the number of slots. I probably want to increase that for the server. All right, well, I mean, we'll turn this on later, but I know what I need to tame. I know what I want to tame. I'm tired of running out of berries, so you know what I want to tame. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, I'm hovering right above what I want to tame. Yep. <laughs> Obronto. I'll never have to worry about getting berries again. I don't see anything bad around the Bronto. What's that one? 15? Nah. Okay, the hard part about this is not going to be wow, so much better in Genesis 2, you know, when you, or anywhere we have tech armor. You just float above it and shoot at it. Hmm. I don't know what kind of torpor I'm going to do on one shot. I mean, he's got 17.5, so I'm just going to start peppering him. And I'm going to have to run here pretty soon. I could think I can outrun him. He should turn at any second now, actually. Yeah. He doesn't want to be near me anymore. There's enough. Woohoo! Look at that. See? See what I mean? How great that is for taming? My goodness. That's going to be enough major berries. How many is that? 50 that I put in there? Yeah, that's enough. Okay. Excellent. All right. We'll just keep watch. Although, only, you know, behemoths are going to attack that thing when it's down. Theoretically. While we wait, Alpha Raptor. Did I miss? I missed. Gosh dang it. Hello, bite me. I hit? I hit. 2K on the Alpha Raptor. That's not bad. He's. Oh, that's a regular Raptor. Killed the regular Raptor. Uh, right, how come I'm not tagging on the Alpha Raptor? Weird. There we go. Almost dead. Ha ha! Nice. 50, 85, 95, 135. Dang it. I waited a little longer. Oh, hang on. Go ahead and get this sucker out of here. Yeah, yeah. Man. Female 150. 
The one I'm taming is a male. By the way, that this is built-in arc breed tracking, in case you haven't used it before. Hey, wait. Hey, what are you? Tech Rex. Uh, chainsaw time. Hello. There he goes. Hopefully nothing bad around here. There's a Dilo somewhere. There's a Dilo egg there. All right. Harvest time. Nah, that 150 is tempting, but we'll settle for our 130. Uh, he's going to be good enough to get berries, and I don't really want to have two of them. I don't want to. I don't want to mate Rontos. I know. I mean, I don't really. Look, our baby boys all teamed out. Let's go get them and get them back to the base. Why am I talking this way? Hey, kids, you want to see a neat magic trick? Uh, here we go. There's your neat magic trick. <laughs> a Bronto on your shoulder, carried by a Pteranodon. Clear that. Taming track. Thank you. Oh, we can just head home by teleporting, can't we? All right, here's our little baby boy. That's the name I gave him. Let's get our Bronto saddle. Just a basic Bronto saddle. I don't plan on taking him into battle or anything, so I don't really need... I don't plan on taking him anywhere, actually. I want him here. Uh, I killed my Akatina. I forgot. It was a wild Akatina. Wow. That sucks. All right, whatever. But I'll leave my little baby boy here. Man, these uh, bushes should uh, respawn, I hope. But uh, I shouldn't have to worry about berries or wow. Okay, the mushrooms get harvested here too. Nice. Excellent. Take the things that belong elsewhere. I guess I should take all the berries, right? But I don't need to worry about that anymore. So anyway, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.